That wasn't too hard. What a day. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time. Let's wait. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time. Aren't your legs getting sore? Stupid question. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time. That wasn't too hard. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time.
What a day. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time. What will it be this time? Cutting? Or shaving the mark? Let's do it. Soon the fancy boy will be set for philandering. Stay still once I start working my shank. If you trash like a fish, you'll mark my floor up. I see. We don't want to reenact the Fleet Street scenario here. The way I say it, it's pretty swell, isn't it? It does look swell. So, tell anyone you want that you are not getting a bot job here. Not now, Victor. I don't have time. The store looks better than I remembered. More... human. I've sorted through the remaining junk, and I'm keeping the monkey brains, prepared corpses, and potency ointments just in the catalog now, so mothers can come here with their kids. Do you want to be better than father? People look at a businesswoman strangely. So I intend to prove to them that I'm better than businessmen. I'm doing my best. We have to talk about the Golem. I know how to stop it now. You know what to do? Tell me. Do you trust me, sister? I trust you. And I'm glad that you're here with me. Even if uh, it's not always easy. I found out that you can only call off a golem in the place where it was made. It was summoned in the synagogue. How do you know that? Father's former sales clerk led me there. Hayat? How did he know? 
Don't tell me he had something to do with this. Well, he begged the previous rabbi to send the golem of the father. He did it out of revenge for the disappearance of a certain Horowitz. The pharmacist? What exactly is Hayat accusing Papa of? Of killing him? Yes, it looks that way. I'm not going to get into details, all right? There's no need. But I'm going to send Hyatt's laundry up in smoke, all right? All right, Lady Macbeth. She got others to do her work. I don't mind getting my hands dirty. If, of course, the family business is threatened. I think I already know what I wanted. All right. I need you. We must end it. Together. You sound serious. What's going on? Today, the curse placed on Father will lose its power. But we have to get going. Are we going down into the synagogue basement? Ariel Rofa is already waiting for us. He's the one leading this whole thing. Do I know him? I sincerely hope not. He's not a suitable companion for you. Oh, now I'm dying of curiosity. There's no time. <laughs> How exciting. I, I feel ten years old again. Darling sister, here in person, you clearly are of the same blood. We have nearly everything ready, I see. I don't think we've met. Ligia Szulska. Ariel Rofe, the pleasure is mine. Mr. Rofe, this is everything I've been able to find. The candles are placed where you commanded. Fine. Oh. Good evening, Mr. Shulsky. And you must be dear Ligia Shulska. My regards. The mademoiselle looks pale. Do you feel all right, my lady? Yes. Sure. Victor, I need a pound of flesh, and it's up to you whose body it comes from. Victor, what's going on? What's he talking about? To lure the golem, we need your mature flaw. What does that mean? Just that I have to draw out your full potential. Otherwise, the golem might not appear. Am I the bait? I could have phrased it better. The point is that only you with your flaw can lure the golem here. Fine. Get that flaw out of me. May I ask why you don't want to? Based on what you explained to me about flaws, I consider it an imperfection. And I'm a perfectionist, Victor. Enough chit-chat. Since everything's ready, let's get to work. How do you get rid of the golem's physical form? There's an old ritual. It's called the bell. It's a sifting ritual. The incantation allows us to sift out the demonic part from the rest of the creature. It also helps with cases of possession. Good to know. By the way, your father must have really gotten under Sofa's skin. My father had that effect on people. This ritual, are you sure it's safe? Just trust me, as I trust you'll keep your word. I won't touch a hair on your sister's head. I'm here, Mr. Rofa. 
And aren't you a sight for sore eyes? Let's begin. Don't mess this up. I'll do my best. Won't it come? Patience? Feldman, more faith! Yit Kadash, Yit Kadash, Shimiraba. I take her flaw, you get rid of the golem, and we're quits. Back in a moment. Mr. Rofa, what? She'll be fine. It's all over. You're both free. You can start paying off your debt right now. I'll soon need your help and skills. Just say where and when. Come on. We gotta take your sister home. I'll call you a carriage. I wasn't supposed to tell you, but Rof had brought you. Oh. Was he saying something? Now we're safe from the curse of Satanyiswaf. Rof had kept his word and stopped the golem from pursuing us. So now it's going to serve him. I kept my word. That was what we'd agreed. Maybe you should have consulted me, huh? It was my flaw. But you agreed to it. <laughs> I'm kidding. You should have seen your face. May I hear the details of your deal? I'll tell you another time. I'm going now. All right. I'll just stay here a little longer. Mr. Shulsky, there's a young lady to see you. I'll serve tea in the drawing room. I won't stay long. There's no need. Thank you, Grazinka. A nice house, a spot of tea, a housekeeper. 
When the revolution comes, everything here will go up in smoke. Over my dead body, this house is my heritage. I'm teasing. Did he say anything? You know what? He confirmed my belief that thaumaturges are freaks. Thank you, Vanda. I'm glad I could help. I've got an appointment with Mihao. Give my best to your fiancé. He hasn't proposed yet. Will the young lady be visiting us more often? That's my hope. Oh, right. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome. I'm not used to getting such a welcome from others. Usually, they go charging straight into my head. That's not very polite in my view. One ought to introduce oneself first. Emir Bernokovich Fulje. Are you alone? I've taken care of them. Good. Thank you for the onion. Thank you for the fork. It's impossible to ignore an invitation magically inscribed on an onion. How can I help you? What is a Fauté? That's what we Tatars call Thaumaturges. I'm a healer, a fortune teller, and a doctor. Is something ailing you? I'm looking for the Black Grimoire. After my father died, it went missing. What do you need another spell book for? I want the knowledge he might have written in it. You're inexhaustible, like him. Get to the point. As you wish. Enough beating around the bush. In this place, we can talk openly and take all the time we need. But mind that lying may cost you dearly. Who told you I have the Black Grimoire? The person who drew you to my attention was Ivan Konyechkin. As I thought. 
The chief had been circling Stanislav for a long time and was interested in his associates. In us. The Grimoire. My patience is running short. Suffer is dead. You're the only one left. Give the Grimoire back. This is the last time I'm asking. Stanislav used to tell me you were really sick and nearly lost your mind. How did you manage to get through all that? Grigory Yefimovich Rasputin cured me. How? As far as I can tell, he used hypnosis on me, and he still peeks into my head from time to time. Do you trust him? He hasn't betrayed my trust so far. Is Rasputin a thaumaturge? I don't think so. I'd have noticed that. Do you know any other thaumaturges from Warsaw? Yes, I know two more. That's enough. I don't have the Black Grimoire, and I've never had it. You've got enormous potential, but you're not yet reaching it. Is speaking the truth not in such demand anymore? I'm not looking for an honest thaumaturge, just a powerful one. have underestimated you. Before we part, permit me to make a certain proposal. I want to rebuild the Coterie, with your participation. Why should I care about this? Because there are ways of strengthening the potential of one thaumaturge using the potential of many. You'll soon learn. I trust that now you're intrigued. It sounds tempting. I'll think it over. That's enough for me for the time being. But take my advice. When you leave here, go to the one who healed you. I sense he has many secrets. We all do, don't we? Yes, but his secrets might be dangerous and might thwart your plans. Be careful. What are you doing here? Vanitas vanitatum et omnia vanitas. Your father was a great man. 
That's all that remains of his greatness. Of course, to dust we've returned. But our glory can be inscribed for our descendants unto all eternity. This is the formula for immortality. Continue. Your father considered himself Polish. Your mother was Russian. And you grew up in France. Who are you, Victor? I'm a thaumaturge. I also think that it's our nature that defines us, and not the place where our mothers brought us into this world. And what natures do those others have? The people around you, you've gathered them, us, intentionally. Everyone has a goal. We're only yet another stopover on someone's journey. And sometimes our paths lead in the same direction. Mine leads to the court of Nikolai Romanov. I need to save the Tsarevich because I believe that only then can we have a future. I can help him. Do you believe me? I think you only want to use us for your own purposes. What have I done to deserve such an accusation? I can see what you're doing. You want to create a cult. Therefore, your eyes deceive you. People flock to me on their own, and I simply do not push them away. We all share the same goal. Anything else? There are people who don't have entirely flattering opinions about you. They say you might be dangerous. What people? Do you know them? Everyone has opinions about you, or about other thaumaturges, Jews, women, American Indians, or about Christ himself. What have you heard about me that's starting to frighten you? Have you heard about my wife? Maybe that I abandoned her for orgies and feasts? Or maybe you should just go ahead and ask me directly. Have you heard about my want in life? I don't judge anyone by who they sleep with, or how often. What else have you heard, and from whom? From the Petersburg Ochrana and its agents? From newspapers written under the strictures of Tsar's censorship? What else? Why are you visiting the Church of St. Mary Magdalene? I pray there. But Lazarev showed it to me. He believes in my mission and revealed that the Tsarina sometimes goes there. Does that have anything to do with Kiryu? Where do you know him from? I've also been to the church to pray. No, he doesn't matter here. What worried you? It feels like you know things I haven't told you. I can't be sure what you're telling me consciously, and which ones only during our sessions. It's hard to trust someone who goes into your head without you knowing what he does in there. That didn't bother you before. You invited me in yourself, remember? You yourself opened your mind to me. I told you I hadn't investigated my power myself. It's a gift. I usually help those who believe. Do you believe now? That's all. See? I think I've dispelled all your doubts. Think what we can achieve, Victor, if you just come with me. Imagine that the thaumaturgical knowledge of the whole Russian Empire will be at your fingertips. As long as Alexei Romanov is healthy. What will happen if I refuse? I'll try without you, and I'm sure I won't succeed. I'll go down in everyone's memory as a charlatan madman and devil spawn. But I'll try nevertheless. Slander, calumny, and lies are a small price to pay to save the future. I believe God will reward my efforts. Of course, I'll have to focus harder on my mission than on you and your needs. 
Do you have a clear enough picture now to make your decision? I need time. You've heard me, Victor. And after everything I've done for you so far. Come back when you're ready. Once you're on that path, there's no turning back. You know where to find me. Look, Doubting Thomas has returned. I'm sure he wants something. I've been thinking about what you said. You only show up when you want something from me. And when I ask for something minor, you refuse. How am I supposed to trust you? I came to make an agreement. I'm all ears. Enough of these little games. You admitted it yourself. Without me, you won't get anywhere anyway. <sighs> Nor I without you. Your insolence knows no bounds. If your confession isn't sincere, atonement is impossible. Let's stop pretending. We both know that, above all, this is business. You need me and I need you. We both benefit. We don't have to love one another or even like one another. And if you think about it, we don't have to respect one another either. Your pride is currently your salvation. But one moment of carelessness and it will turn against you. I'm saying this to you as a sign of reconciliation. So, we're partners? Can we go? The church is waiting. Not yet. I came about something else. Yes? What do you need? This whole farce, the thank yous, what's it all for? What intentions do you have towards me? Intentions? That we become friends and help one another and compliment one another. I have skills that you don't, and vice versa. I'm not hiding anything from you, Victor. I'll leave you alone. I've got business to get back to. Go in health, friend. Can we go? The church is waiting. Fine, let's go. Finally. Victor, it's about to start. Strange. I don't remember the way here. Not at all. Should I be nervous, friend? This terrifies me. Quiet there. You're not in a barn. 
The Patriarch Kiru will soon begin an exorcism on a certain boy. I know that you and Kiru have a past. Why are we here, of all places? Not in the least. Remember, revenge is foreign to me, Victor. It's not about Kirill. Though, if by chance he trips up today, that would make me immeasurably happy. Unlike Kirill, I really do want to heal a boy who is suffering. The people must understand that I am the truth. And what then? Then, all that's needed is for what happens here to reach the right ears. Off to the market with you! Don't bother folks here! Now I would like you to look around and determine how to prepare the miracle of healing. Go now. I'll go take a look around. Go, but don't waste time. I felt something. Where is it? But Yushka, can we please start? Patience, daughter, and humility. Keep praying. You're back after all. You'll soon see the power of God. Is he your son? Why did you bring him here? What business is it of yours? The devil needs to give my son back. He's got me scared to sleep under my own roof. Why? He won't shut up about phantoms, and he lies and makes stuff up. And he holds and holds. But Yushka, faster, have mercy. Hey, you. Why did you harm Cartafel? He said it really hurts now. I didn't mean to. I didn't. I was angry. Papa didn't come back from the war. <laughs> I know you destroyed a holy image. Do you want to go to hell? N no. I got scared. Mama? I've heard you were a liar. No. I don't lie. That's not true. And that you scare your mama making things up. Not true. I want to go home. Don't get close to him. It's the devil speaking through him. He'll tell you anything to save himself. Maybe it's what's making him upset. If I took it away... But Kiro told me to move away before it opened completely. Don't dwell on it. It's good news. Let's get closer to God. Especially since it's a little too loud here. Thanks be to God. They're going somewhere else to talk. 
Princeps Miliete Kelias des Defende Nos in Proelio. Down with the evil spirit. I drive you out in the name of Christ. Priest! Leave that child alone. You stand in defense of Satan. He's not a child, he's a devil. Mama! You're causing a child unnecessary suffering. He needs a different kind of help. True help. My help. Quiet, don't scream. I'm not going to do anything to you. Mama! Mama! Help! He sees you as I do. That only means one thing. <laughs> hey, don't cry, all right? How about we talk? Have you ever seen a ghost or a monster? One like him? Once. Gran was in the wardrobe, the other in the kitchen. I'm scared of them. Have you told anyone about this? My mama and the priest. Am I going to hell? Calm down, everything's alright. No one's taking you to hell. I see ghosts too. Sometimes they even help me. Why did God do this to us? Doesn't he like us? God isn't the one who thinks we're bad. It's the people who don't have our power. They don't understand us, so they're afraid. And that makes them angry. Will this take much longer? Kirill is about to declare me anathema. How can it be that he's crying here? He's a thaumaturge. I didn't know that earlier. Do you see yourself in him? Do you want to help him because no one helped you? What will happen to me now? Well, Victor, we're running out of time. What will happen to him now? I've decided that I'll transfer his floor to myself. You're mercifully taking something from him for your own benefit. My power is sometimes a curse. I spared him the suffering. <laughs> if you say so. Listen. Are you taking me to my mama? We're about to go back to your mama, and she will take you home. You won't see monsters anymore, and your mama won't get mad at what you say. Deal? Yes. It's all right now. Everything will be all right. Find peace inside yourself. Peace, yes. It's all right now. Be blessed, Shimon. Be healed. It's better now, isn't it? It's a miracle. Thank you. With all my heart. Shimon shares his name with the name of the greatest of Christ's apostles. And you wanted to drive Satan out of him. That's blasphemy. So say I, Grigory Yefimovich Rasputin. The man you betrayed, Judas. We have made the words of God into an instrument for our own gain. Made sacred temples into a vanity fair. 
Satan exists. And he is here today among us. But not in this small, defenseless boy I have just cured. It works through its earthly acolytes. It enters the minds of those unblemished by sin and sows chaos there. It's time to stand against this. It's him, the wizard who wanted to hurt my son. Where are you going? Stop him! Evil takes root in each of us. We must be strong. Because now we need a government of souls free from evil. In these dark times, we need a miracle of unity. Glory to Russia! Slava Rasi! Fuck you! He turned up with the wizard! Let us be strong in spirit. That is the only way we can defeat Satan. Down with traitors! Hey, you! The devil with the book! You damned magician! I'm talking to you! Hang on now. My cousin was recently telling me about a fellow like that who was in the lockup in Śródmieście. Victor! Do you need help? I won't say no. Looks like it'd be useful. What was that you said, officer?
Kavona. I can see you're in over your head, officer. Because these are wizards scum, it's not a fair fight with them. Enough! You and you. Get them. But save your powers for later. They'll come in handy. Let's go. Michal, leave him alone, bastard! Geroy, you're coming with us too. Although, they could have left me a coat. It's chilly here. They're going to kill us. We'll get out of this. I wonder how. Do you know anyone who's gotten out of the Citadel? First, the Ochrana will grill us. Then it'll be out to the prison yard. Hey, kid. Look at me. Vanda will spring us from here. We just have to give her time. Have you learned to whistle yet? And remember, we were at mass. We don't know anything, got it? Unlike him. And now you're going to tell me exactly what happened inside the church. I didn't want this to happen. It was Rasputin's fault. Who? That bearded monk? Yes. He took advantage of me. You? Jan Bialek! No. Please, no. Here! That's me! You've gotta get him out of here, you understand? He's not even 16. I'll give Vanda your best. You watch out. I'll be back yet. Bialek! You're coming with me. Tell her not to miss me. And you? Practice that whistling. You think he'll come back? Worry about yourself. They're going to kill us here. Where are you from? From here. I live with my grandfather in Praga. He fought in the January uprising. He raised me after my father died. I wanted to make him proud, and that's why I joined. Our faults. I was traveling a lot at your age. France, Belgium, Petersburg. That's all right for some. The carefree bourgeoisie. Yes, I was born into money. But money doesn't bring you happiness. The greatest lie that we tell poor people. Even so, believe me, my life wasn't as much of a fairy tale as you'd imagine. My best friend's father was in debt to a dishonest loan shark, and we wanted to help. I think we were younger than you. And what happened? We went to see him with my father's gun. The one I carry with me. And what? It went off. The lone shark died on the spot. My father handed me some suitcases and a ticket and said never to come back. So, he sorted it out. Sounds like a good father. 
He was defending his reputation, so he got rid of me, and that was that. I didn't ask him for this. Shulski! Your turn. See you. How touching. Move your ass! That was... disappointing. Did you know him? You deceived me, Chief. The book wasn't where you told me I'd find it. But I could have sworn. How extraordinary. Really? I can see you're still using it. I remember how it ended the story of a particular loan shark. And that sizable problem of yours, is it still following you? And speaking of the harbor, where's Vanya? Tell me anything of value. Then, I'll be able to find a way to help you. I wouldn't want the dredges to pull you out of the Vistal afterward, like Svetlana Petrovna. I think you're lying. You didn't find anything. What were you doing in the church? I have to ask you something. Where is my father's grimoire? What were you doing in the church? I was praying to find my late father's grimoire. It's a good thing I don't do that often. How did you get there? I don't quite remember. I was at a party, we were drinking alcohol, then on the way I think there was a cemetery, and then I woke up in the church. Why are you sticking with Rasputin? I'm aware that you know one another. The corpse? was kind enough to tell me so. I've already told you, my memory is failing. I see. It looks like we're done here. Leave us alone. What? No interrogation? Don't be silly. I don't need to introduce you to. Ready? I know everything that I could read from his objects. What are you expecting? Results. Find out what he did in the church and where his father's friends are. As you wish, sir. Let's not drag this out. Good to see you. We need to talk. Let's talk, but I guarantee you won't like it. <sighs> Greetings from inside your head. I intend to make myself at home here. Did they ban summoning souls in Warsaw so you got a job here? And did they finally work out that you're a charlatan? We're not thinking about me now. You won't trick me here, and you won't escape either. Save your energy. Think about the church and who you were there with. Who's this filthy monk? So, you don't trust him anymore? 
You're terrible at choosing friends. I'm used to it. I trust no one anymore. Not least thanks to you. You've got nothing that would redeem your guilt. Samira, focus now. It's suicide. Konyechkin is a determined, vengeful bastard, and he has people everywhere. I'd sooner tear off your head like he wants than take a risk like that. Think what we could do with knowledge like that. End up on the gallows. If we played badly. All right. All right, what? Let's get out of here. That's what you want, after all. I'll help you, but you're taking me with you. I'm not leaving here without my father's grimoire. I'm convinced Konyechkin has it. That's right. It's in his study. Two floors up. Just don't dawdle. Go. I'll hold Konyechkin here. But not for long, so hurry. Make it snappy. I can't hold him here long. Think of this, father. Let's see. Shulsky, there's no time for reading. I can't read this. It's like describing colors to a blind man. I don't get it. Whatever you're mumbling, I don't care. We need to go. What happened? The guard peeked inside the cell and everything fell apart. Konyechkin was furious. It'll take him a little while before he regains his composure, so let's not waste time. I'll lead us out of the gate, but what then? My cellmates have confirmed their people are observing the Citadel. They'll pick us up. Sounds like a plan. Before we leave, I'd like to grab one of my cellmates. What? Have you lost it completely? I have to, because he doesn't know how to whistle. You'll get lost here. I'll go. You secure the passage to the gate for us. Just wait for me there. I'll be waiting.
You, what are you doing here? It's a long time since I was in Warsaw last. I wanted to explore a little. Show your pass, or you're under arrest. I wish you luck. And you, what are you grinning at? Grab the rest of those fuckers in the barracks. So, have you mastered whistling? That's how you do it. Come on, folks. I'm so glad to see you. What about Miha? And her? Thanks to me, the rest got out. Move.
Please come in. No one should be alone at a time like this. Emir, they killed Michal. He is not altogether lost, remember. I'm going to see Burke. The rest should know. Come on, Yannick. The famous Madame Samira has honored my humble abode. Thank you for taking us in. You must be exhausted. Please go ahead to your rooms upstairs. I'll join you in a moment. Are you coming? Yes. Please, make yourselves at home. The tea is brewing and it will do us all good. Madame must be the thaumaturge Victor told me about. Did I mention that? For the time being, I'll assume we all have good intentions. As for me, you have nothing to worry about, sir. I trust her. That's enough for me. Let's not waste time. Do not mistake this somber moment for one of peace. This isn't the calm before the storm. We're in the eye of the storm. Time is scarce, the risk is great, and the consequences will be irreversible. I trust you've got the Black Grimoire already? What do you think threatens us? You're a wanted fugitive, so detainment, interrogation, and probably the noose. And you, miss. The noose. They won't waste time interrogating me. I always considered the consequences when I set out to do something. But I suppose they've usually only affected you. Why don't we move on from doubts to solutions? The solution is to combine all of our individualities. Separately, we're all too weak. But if we form a pact, its consequences might reverberate throughout Russia, possibly even all of Europe. Who knows, maybe that way we could save not only our own necks. What about Wanda? Aren't you afraid she'll seek revenge? Yes, and that revenge will push her to extreme measures. But what we're trying to build might save her from downfall. It's one of the reasons that time is of the essence. I got my father's grimoire back. It was where we both expected it to be. Have you studied it yet? I've browsed through it. My father somehow managed to conceal the meaning behind written words. I can feel that it's there, but it keeps slipping away. I think the combination of our powers might solve your problem. Can you tell me what we're talking about exactly? Before he died, Stanislaw Shulsky created a hypothesis upon which he tried to use the full potential of Thaumaturge's mental bond. You mean peeking inside each other's heads? That is not arcane knowledge. Shulsky believed that connected thaumaturges could share their powers. It's still just a hypothesis. How can we verify it? 
Only through an experiment, I presume. Let's not waste any more time. What else do we need to form such a pact? First of all, a fourth member. The other one you mentioned. Who is that? The only one that comes to mind is Ariel Rofa. He crossed my mind too. Do you think he could be useful with the reputation he has? He hasn't shown up at the Rujits much lately. Do you know him well? Not personally. People talk about him in the neighborhood. Sometimes more, sometimes less. Don't give it too much thought. Needless trouble. Do you know where I could find him, if not at the bazaar? I know he used to live somewhere in the heart of Mirov. Maybe there. The bazaar, Thaumaturge. I'll bring him here. He owes me. Then you can call in a favor. There's also the question of that Rasputin. How do you think I should resolve this situation? It would be most imprudent to let such suspicious people inside your mind for too long. Any carelessness may cost all of us dearly. If you're still bound to him somehow, I'm afraid you'll have to end it. Yes. Tell him it's not him, it's you, and so on. Remember, this is no longer a question of only your noggin. Madame, the tea is ready. I have to go down now. Good luck, Victor. Did you come to check on me? Would that be wrong? Your resistance, girlfriend, won't mind. It's a rhetorical question. Who is Sara Rivkin? You saw my files at Konyechkin's. Sara Rivkin is none of your business. I think you owe me one. As far as I remember, you were the one who put me in the hands of Yochrana. And then I got you out of them, alive. Do you want the long story or the short one? Long. I've got time. Quiet. So, a Jewish orphan, Sara Rivkin, was born in the Austro-Hungarian partition. When the street decides to end her, fortune sends her help in the form of a popular psychic, Madame Samira. Samira adopts Sarah as her daughter, and they become inseparable. Madame Samira can see more than others. She's the one who made Sarah realize her thaumaturgist nature. But Madame also has enemies who can reach her in the safety of her house. Sarah knows she has to disappear if she wants to stay alive. So you took her identity? I guess it wasn't too hard for a thaumaturge to act as a psychic. Indeed. Were you close with Madame? Wouldn't you be close with someone who raised you? Believe me, it's not so obvious to me. It was Madame who taught me how to live, not the streets. She was unique. By adopting her name, I believe I saved her in a way. This is the least I can do to repay her. Why did you decide to come here? With Madame's money, you could be anywhere. Anywhere is neither worse nor better than here. But the gaze of Samira's assassins won't reach here. Skawan's shackles do, however. How did you meet him? You'll know when you deserve to. Thank you for opening up to me. Look out, I might start to like you. Let me change the subject. Finally, how long can you pity yourself? What actually convinced you to run away with me? A woman without secrets becomes vulnerable. 
Let me guess. Surprise me. I think I was the perfect opportunity to get off Konyechkin's leash. I wouldn't call it a leash. Rather, an entanglement. Am I right? Perhaps. What are your impressions after meeting our host? Do you trust no one, or are you just being polite? I just wanted to know your opinion. If what we are planning here is going to work, you'll have to trust us at some point. I'm not sure if he's a good Felcher, but he seems to be an experienced thaumaturge. And it's not easy for me, but I think I would trust him. Not that I have any choice. I'll come back later. Sure. Vaše dokumenty. Pardon? What don't you understand? Documents. What is it? Can't one take a walk anymore? Yet. Not with that book. Documents. I won't say it again. Rayado voice Triazzo. I'll take over. Documents, or are you deaf? Show them to me and you can be on your way. Why so nervous, officer? If it's papers you want to see, I'll show you. I've nothing to hide. Mm -hmm. He's a magician, Captain. What, am I blind? I can see he's a magician. But he's not the one. Show Harsho. You can go. Just watch yourself. Who is the Tsar's army actually looking for on the streets? Not you. A terrorist and a fugitive from the Citadel. Go now. I've got my eye on you. Stryatsov, reinforcements are needed on Bzetska. Let's go. Yes, sir. Intriguing. Did you manage to solve your healer's case? I'm working on it. I see. Tell me how a Jew, a Tata, and my father met. Who first? Choose. Tell me about my father. I met Stanislav during the January Uprising. He was still a bachelor then. We were in the same unit under Traugut. Were there many Thaumaturges fighting back then? We didn't flash it around. Besides, we all bleed red. I used to be a frequent visitor to your house. But as time went by, less and less so. Did something happen? Just life. 
Stanislav focused on his family, and I focused on my practice. What about Sofer? The old rabbi was introduced to me by Stanislav. He was the one who sought to acquaint us with one another. Sofer was a powerful Kabbalist and very respected in his community. He was the one who brought the golem into existence. I didn't get a chance to know him better, as he died shortly after casting that curse. Do you think that summoning the golem might have been the cause? No, no, it was the profusion of cookies he loved so much that killed him. You treated Sofer. I found a prescription he wrote. That's true. A hopeless case of an addiction to trivialities. Had we met sooner, he might still be alive. Tell me about Horowitz's case. How did it impact the coterie? He was actually the reason it started to fall apart. He was a socialist chemist who knew a lot. There was a risk he would be exposed. So my father killed him. Stanislav took the burden of that decision upon himself, reckoning with consequences. He knew the Jewish community would blame him, and Sofer couldn't defy the will of his people. That would compromise him and be the undoing of us all. Stanislav did us a favor. And to socialists as well, I guess. I have some other questions. You do? Tell me about yourself. I'm afraid your request is too broad. Ask me a more direct question. Do you come from here? You're asking if I was born in Warsaw? I only came here after the uprising. My family comes from Vilnius. But my heart beats the same as yours. Tell me more about the Tatars. My ancestors settled around Vilnius over 600 years ago. Since they were noblemen, we kept our own religion and traditions. Are you all Muslims? Are you all Catholics? Everyone lives by their heart. And that's the way it should be. Who do you consider yourself to be? A doctor. I meant, who do you feel like? A Tatar, a Pole, a servant of Allah. I am all of them. I like to believe that I'm a good man, too. I avoid labeling people, Victor. It leads nowhere. When we first met, you tested me. I had to know what kind of clay you're made of. Forgive the pun. I have a feeling I didn't come across well in your eyes. I failed. All is not lost. We are still talking, aren't we? And what did you think of me back then, if I may ask? I must say you impressed me. Especially considering the fact you look rather... Old? Experience comes with age. Remember that. Remember also that kindness and gentleness have nothing to do with weakness. And that they cost nothing. I have some other questions. Go ahead. I have to go now. May Allah guide you.
God, oh God, I had such a beautiful son, such a good boy, and the devil got him. A pox on that fiend. God, oh God, I had such a beautiful son, such a good boy, and the devil got him. A pox on that fiend. In mourning, there's no place for your hate. You know your son tried to prevent bloodshed. He died feeling shame. My boy. As he was dying, he clutched his First Communion medal and prayed for forgiveness. For all of you. The medal? How did you know? I know. Trust me. Honor your son the way he would want. Bring peace, not fire. <gasps> huh? Is everything all right? I've got a headache, but thinking about the schmucks biting the dust brings me comfort. Some hala? Those dead bodies in front of your house, did they come to kill a thaumaturge? Yep. They came in with their mother, and I gave them clay. Their boldness overtook them. Now tell me what brings you here. I came to make you an offer. I want you to join the coterie of thaumaturges that I intend to form. You can already tell I won't like it. What is it anyway? To put it briefly, two other thaumaturges and I need someone like you. Do I know them? An old Tata Felcher and a fake psychic. You fit right in. What do you need it for, truly? I came here with no purpose, but I might have just found one. Might have is good enough. So, you agree? Yes, where do you want me to go? Opposite Ruzitz, there's a courtyard and a clinic, and above it is the Tata Felcher's apartment. I can hear more coming. See, my head hurts so much I can't go down there. Sit yourself. I'll call you when I'm done. I'll see you later at your Felcher's. Enough of this! The time for vengeance is here! A Warsaw free from magicians! What are you here for? We came for Rofe. Let's take this one too. We'll put them both to the torch. People, everyone, stop! You can't do that. The good lord is ashamed of you. Stand back, Granny. It's gonna get gory. 
Her offer is not here. He left town like you wanted. But you are still here. Get him! The things people come up with.
You made it, my friend. Wonderful. About what happened in the church. Did you get what you'd hoped for? Yes. Although bloodshed was not part of my plan. But apparently, such was God's will. But I'm sure that the news of that boy's miraculous recovery has reached the right ears. Time will tell, of course. What's the occasion? Do you want to thank me for something again? Not today. Today, all of you gathered at this table are equally important. I want to celebrate you with this humble supper. I hope you'll join us. Did you invite the press? My sermon must have made quite an impression on her. Good. Tell me more about this occasion. What do you want to know? A discerning thaumaturge would notice that your supper resembles the Last Supper, the one from the Bible. A supper like any other. There is a host, his guests, food and drink. I believe this meal will not be my last. The corner near the brothel. It was cozier at the Nadarzhinskis. But today, we wouldn't all fit. Look around and see how many believers we've gained. Are you saying that they were attracted by the miracle at the church? Of course, and a brothel is as good a place as any other. Better even. Here, lust trumps propriety and the nakedness is a symbol of truth. We're celebrating truth here today. Truth in community. Who can I expect to see at this supper? It's difficult to mention everyone. My flock keeps growing, but people are different. Strong, wise, weak, dumb. Some stumble and never get back up. They will be missed today. I pray for their souls. What's important is that you came back. That will do. So, will you join us now? All right, I'll stay. And what do you plan to do after supper? God created the world and placed a beautiful garden within it in the east. Then, he placed a man there. The plan is for us to meet in paradise as well, because there we will get that which we deserve, my friend. No more, no less. Do you recall our conversation over your father's grave, when I asked who you feel you are? Yes, I replied that I am defined by thaumaturgy. And I promised you all of the Empire's thaumaturgic knowledge. And it will be so. So help me God. I've come to you with a certain matter. Speak. You are among friends. I was approached by certain people. They want my help in reviving one of my father's concepts. I understand. I know how much thaumaturgy means to you. What is it that you expect from me? Should I be afraid of something? This is goodbye for us, Grigori. We've had our moments, but now I want to go my own way. We have different visions for the future. I will work on accomplishing mine with other thaumaturges. Thank you for your honesty. I have been very eager to eat this Passover meal with you before my suffering begins. Wait a minute, my friend. I will be with you shortly. I still want to show you something before you leave for good. And Victor, I am telling you now before it happens, so that when it does take place, you may believe that I am he.
Is this what death is like? An infinite void? Where? Where am I? Is this hell? Well, I could have seen it coming. I'm telling mom, all you temperate turges are crazy. And the teacher said, Victor, is the rat here in the classroom with us right now? <laughs> I almost pissed myself. Cozy. Slow down. You'll get your clothes all dirty. I'm the head of this family, and I deserve respect. This is the end. You've lost. Did you not hear what I said? This is the end. I was wondering where you'd bother me again. You needed me, so here I am. It is time for the trial. What trial? Is this some sort of court? Barbarit. Yes. A trial over the conscience of Viktor Shulsky. Of what do I stand accused? And what weighs on your conscience? Enough. Starting now, we're doing things my way. Release me. You're in charge here, remember? If you wish to skip the trial, it will be so. Are you ready to hear the verdict? I want to hear the verdict. What do you think the trial has revealed? The fact that I can bend the rules of any game because I'm a Thaumaturge. And you think that's the way it should be? No. Power should not be the answer to everything or an excuse. It is the power of human character that shapes reality. The verdict is... Guilty. Guilty of doubt, lacking confidence in his own abilities, and guilty of ignoring his conscience. Guilty, guilty, guilty. This cannot end like this. And it won't end until you begin on one of the paths. This is the only way you can atone for your transgressions. Are you talking about Rasputin and the Coterie? There may be other paths available. Which one do you prefer? What do you want to tell me? That you can reach the world following paths less trodden. Does it surprise you? After all, you can play against the rules. But now, focus on what's in front of you. So? Why the Coterie? Because you never managed it, I'll show you that I can. So, 
You accept everything that was meant for you, and you will use it as you see fit. Are you happy with events taking this course? Yes, I want this. So, remember what it is you're feeling now when the time for the trial comes. And you, what would you do in my place? I died beneath that tenement house. What you see is an embodiment of your pride, conscious or doubts. Those are the things you're arguing with, don't. You are your own worst enemy. Go now. Will I ever see you again? That's entirely up to you. You are in charge here. Let's meet in paradise, the garden near the fountain. Satan has asked to sift all of you as wheat, but I have prayed for you that your faith may not fail. I don't remember how I ended up here. Is it possible that what happened near the brother was just a dream? You're right. A dream wouldn't hurt like this. I have an idea who the author is, but I don't know how it's possible. I have no idea where to look for this paradise and garden. I'll think about this later. Les gars. Christ 
Don't sneak up on me like that. How do you feel? You took care of me. Thank you. Forget it. I wouldn't have managed it on my own. Grazenka helped me. Are you sure you don't want to rest some more? Did someone come here when I was asleep? Did we have any visitors? Apart from myself, uncle and Grazenka, I didn't let anyone in. The streets are not safe. Why do you ask? I found an unusual letter on the nightstand. About a garden of paradise. What letter? The only garden that's being talked about now is the one at Dolinka Schweizarska. The Tsar and his entourage are planning to have a garden party in a park there. What is this party at Dolinka Schweizarska? The Tsar is celebrating his son's birthday. Would you use the phrase garden in the east to describe Dolinka? In the east? Dolinka is south of here. The only eastern thing about it is its guests. I would never have thought of that. It makes sense. Thank you. Where is Grazinka? She left to get some supplies. It's hard to buy anything now, but she left yesterday and still hasn't come back. Maybe she just had to hide somewhere and is waiting. Is everything all right? You look concerned. That's because I am. Whatever is happening on the streets right now, it scares me. Is that why you unearthed Papa's musket? Does it still work? Just now I thought I would find out. Before you woke up, they shot a man on our street. He crawled away somewhere, but he was bleeding so badly. The entire city has gone insane. The Governor General has closed the borders and isn't letting anyone leave. People have barricaded themselves in their homes. Maybe the Russians are waiting for us to kill each other ourselves. And they may be right. Only madmen roam the streets now. I know it has to end someday, but God is my witness. I don't know what will be left of this city. I don't know what could stop this madness. Did you intend to inform me that you escaped from the Citadel? I'm not responsible for what's happening in the streets now, if that's what you're implying. I'm the one who was injured, remember? I'm just worried about you. Besides, I guess I'm most worried about Grazenka right now. Do you know if anything happened to the store? I didn't even want to try to get in there to check. You shouldn't go there right now. This chaos in the city. How long has it been going on? Three days. Uncle brought you here, half dead, three days ago. Do you know what day it is? Hold on. The last day of summer. I'm sorry, I don't have anything for you. You have risen from the dead. That has to be enough for me. At least until Christmas. Grazenka. I thought I'd find you in worse health. I see you've once again managed to avoid the consequences of your decisions. I'm afraid I must put a stop to this. You are under arrest for taking part in a conspiracy against the Tsar and engaging in terrorism. You'll also be held accountable for escaping from the Citadel and for your active support of the Socialists, the enemies of the Empire. Your brother didn't bother to mention that, Miss Lingia. You'll be coming with us, Mr. Shulsky. Try and force me. Chief. Don't make the situation worse, Victor. You can still get out of it, I'm sure of it. Dad managed it for years. He knew how to cooperate. You have no idea what you're talking about. It wasn't cooperation. Konechkin is an ulcer that father couldn't get rid of, and I'm closer to carrying out Stanislav's idea than you. 
If you don't resist, I give you my word that no harm will come to your sister. Shall we? You are leaving. Straight to hell, you son of a bitch. If you think you'll take me away from my own home, you are mistaken. No, Chief. We'll finish this here. I didn't receive an invitation, so I decided to drop in on my own. After all, today is a Shulsky family holiday. Mr. Nyajit, Warsaw will get rid of two pests today. Wanna share any other fantasies? Don't worry about the broken window pane, Victor. I'll deduct it from the five rubles you still owe me.
I won't beg for mercy, if that's what you were hoping for. I loaded my piece today. Just say the word, and the balding prick will lose the other half of his face. Nyajits. Loyal to the end. Like a dog. Like his father. Are you going to let this mongrel deprive you of the pleasure? Will you leave my fresh corpse to your sister as a gift? Blood soaks into stone for many long years. A unique birthday gift. The word. Alive, he would never have left you alone. Yes, you're right. Thanks. About it, did you? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. What now? Now we'll do some cleaning. I'll fetch a shovel. Why, you'll be the protagonist of my next poem. Done. It doesn't even show. I could help you more. No, no, it's your birthday. Rest in peace, Chief. You've known me better than anyone for so many years. You were always with me, and you always will be. We have to talk about our future. Any ideas? I was thinking about our Thaumaturge friends. Who will understand better than them? Apart from you, of course. You're right. We both owe a lot to Rasputin. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't even be talking now. But his path, even if it does lead to the Romanov's court, is uncertain. And the price of following it is unknown. Let's not waste any more time. Let's try to resurrect my father's course. Let's return to our magical friends. Rasputin will have to return from the dead alone.